Hello, I have received a few requests for a tutorial on how I make an engine, so I'm going to demonstrate how I make an inline four. Um, I'm going to be using precision alignment pretty much, so if you aren't familiar with that, I'll include a link to a tutorial uh, using that. I'll try and uh, let you know what I'm up to with uh, precision alignment as I'm using it. So the expression I'm going to use is also going to function as the flywheel. So I'm selecting the uh, crankshaft as the targeted prop and I'm going to uh, make sure it's rotated in the right direction. And then I'm going to make sure that the uh, flywheel's also rotated in the right direction. So now I'm going to line up the thrusters with precision alignment. I'm going to set it to hit pause, click once there, and shift click twice here to place two more points. And then I'm going to go to uh, points here, select points t uh, one and two, click center, click two, and that'll place number two in the center of uh, the, those two. And then I'm going to shift click and place two more points over here. Select uh, three and four, center of those, and set four. So now I've got five points here, and the thrusters I want to place are going to be in the middle of those points. So again, I'm going to select two points and set the centers. And this last point I don't need anymore, so I can just delete it. So now I've got four points corresponding to where the four thrusters are going to go. So now I'm going to select the thruster and the point where it's going to move from, number five. I'm going to move it to point number one. So I got point number one selected here, five here. Got my thruster selected, go to move entity. This one, except I'm moving it to point two. All right, can delete all those because I don't need them. The flywheel, I'm going to move into the center of the engine block. So I'm going to change it to mass center. First point goes on the engine block. And then I'm going to move entity. So now it's in the center. And then I'm going to move this uh, crankshaft. I don't want to stick it directly in the center over here. So I'm going to create two points. the center, click number two, and then I'm going to stick point number one up here. So now I've got that centered sticking out of it. 
I'm going to use the access center tool to <laughs> stick those together and then Ball socket advanced with everything everything set to zero. I'm going to make these mimic each other's angles. Now to um, do a little bit more thruster setup here. I'm going to move them down into the engine block a little bit so they don't show as much. You can shift right click and repeat the last action you did. Okay, now we um, need to add sliders. So, gonna do line, start, end. Going to left click here and alt to left click over here. And then we'll put a line through the middle. Next, I'm going to do a hit pause on the top of each thruster in the middle. Shift clicking. Shift clicking to uh, increment each one. And now I'm going to uh, put a line, put a point directly on this line right below where the thruster is. So you go to functions point line projection, select the uh, where you want to stick the new point, and then the point you're going to use and the line you're going to stick it on. And so that creates a new point there. And then you do the same for each one. This is important. You want to select your engine block. You want to go over here to your four new points and click attach for each one. Uh, if you don't do this, then the uh, constraint will be on the world and not on the engine block. Okay, so now we're going to actually create the constraint. We want to go to slider point one and its corresponding point number five. Create a constraint for each pair. Okay, and then advance duplicate it to make sure I've got it correct. Looks good. So now I'm going to advanced ball socket each to engine. Oh, and no collide them. Next, we need to do the ropes. So, I'm um, going to move the crankshaft down a little bit so I can access the middle. And then I'm going to create another line. Actually, I'm going to delete this one first. I'm going to create a line through the middle of the crankshaft. And be sure you attach it to the crankshaft so it moves with it. And then I'm undoing the move to put it back where it was. Now I'm going to create another line um, at the bottom of the crankshaft. Make sure I have number two selected. Doesn't matter if we attach that one. I'm going to place four more points back at the top of the thrusters. 
and then I'm gonna do uh, point line projection again uh, for each one. You want line number two selected so it's at the bottom. All right, now we're going to do the first and fourth thrusters and rope those. So you want to make sure your rope is rigid, no length. Um, pretty much set up like this. You can set the width to whatever you want. And then you want to do the first and fifth and then the fourth and eighth. Oh, my bad. Got to undo those two. Forgot to attach the fourth and eighth. Uh, no. Attach the fourth to the thruster. Attach the fifth to the crane shaft. And now you want to do your first and fifth, then your fourth and eighth. Forgot to turn off a Fizga in build mode, which automatically freezes it. Alright, so those two are working. <laughs> now we're going to go to our precision alignment and rotate the crankshaft around line one, which is through the middle. Rotate it by 180 degrees. Now we're going to attach the second to six and seven. And we're gonna rope those up. we roped it up right here. All right, looks like it's working. So now I can delete all these points. And now we have to do the timing. 